What's going on, everybody? I'm Jabby Kawai, joined by Haley Seats. We are looking at Nimesh Patel's Indian Dad Says No to Kids for Therapy. <laughs> this is a crowd work highlight. Now, I understand that a lot of... Um, I mean, I've been told by Indian the Indian audience that Indian parents are very reluctant to um, admit that mental mm. health is a thing, mm -hmm. that therapy is needed. And I, I just, to put my stance out there, I think that therapy can be useful as long as you are using it with a goal. Yeah. I am very much opposed to 15 years of therapy. It's like, what? No, that's just a scam. <laughs> like, you might as well just join an MLM at that point, right? <laughs> right. So, but what I'm saying is like, from if you go in with a goal, which I have done, mm -hmm. I think it can be very effective as long as you are mm -hmm. like constantly aware of that goal as you go through your childhood and learn to hate your parents and then learn to love your parents again you know anyway yeah. therapy so if you guys haven't done so already hit the subscribe button bell icon all notifications vote this up let youtube know you're enjoying what you're watching while you're subscribing and upvoting subscribe to Namesh patel there's a link in the description below if you want to click on that link give the original an upvote and subscribe to him from there here we go <laughs> if your kids came to you like we gotta go to therapy what would you say no. No. hell no why why they're gonna blame you. Yeah. Oh. There's some truth to that. Yeah. <laughs> There's some truth to that. It always goes back to your childhood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It always goes back to your childhood. Any Indian people here go to therapy? No show of hands. <laughs> His silence. Sad lion ass. <laughs> you, sir. White shirt. What's your name? Yeah, there's no other white shirts around. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you hear about the show, by the way? Don't say TikTok, because that would really make me sad. How'd you hear about the show? TikTok? And how old are you? 60? And you're on TikTok? <laughs> Everybody on TikTok. Yeah. That's how I find comedians. Yeah. That's sad as shit. <laughs> 60 year old grown ass Indian man. <laughs> Just avoiding his wife, just yeah, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, especially if you're from the '80s, late '70s, uh, I feel like you are someone who's grown up with constant change. And if you're accustomed to that, then you can adapt to the new technology a little bit more easily, I feel yeah. like. So 60 years old is not that far removed. I, I mean, it's substantially mm. older than 40, I suppose. I feel like if you're close enough, you can, and you've been paying attention to changes, you can keep up with it Oh just yeah, fine. for sure. And I, I feel like they make this pretty it's so dumb easy. easy. Yeah, yeah, I've seen like, toddlers. They're yeah. all like, yeah, I got this whole thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sitting on the toilet. <laughs> get out of the bathroom, Deepak. <laughs> Your legs are gonna get clots. <laughs> uh, I don't think 60 is good. That's gonna happen at 60. Maybe 70 or 80. Yeah. Wife. What do you do, wife? Housewife. Housewife. Good, 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 good. Sam. Are you a doctor? What do you do? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> you just want to say? Why? So which motels and hotels do you own? <laughs> which ones, man? <laughs> huh? None. None. So what did you do before you quit? I owned a hotel. You owned a Oh my God. He was right. Wow. <laughs> that is a weird coincidence. I'm mm. telling you, man. That's a Midwest. An Indian story is doctor, engineer, or mm -hmm. fucking hotel here. <laughs> doctor and engineer, I knew know, about. The, doc, the hotel people shit on the doctors, and the doctors shit on the engineers. Like, hey, should have worked hard, should have worked hard. I don't work at all. That's fucking Sam shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good for you, Sam. Good for you. You got kids too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many kids? Two? Boy and girl? Excellent. How old are they? 119. 119 and 113, rich little kids. <laughs> Did he say he was 60 and he's got a nice Yeah, head? they're still talking to the same guy. Take your breath control. <laughs> Maybe it's a different guy now. I heard Maybe. that fucking alarm go off. 8.30, pop that pill, baby. <laughs> 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 oh my God. That was such a quick joke. Like, I have lost it on girlfriends mm -hmm. if they forgot to take their pill. I'm like... Yo, <laughs> we ain't there yet, okay? I don't want an accident. I don't want an accident, baby. I want a purpose, baby. On there purpose. You go. Yeah. 
If your kids came to you like, we gotta go to therapy, what would you say? No. Hell no, why? Why? They're gonna blame me. They're gonna blame you? <laughs> it is your fault. <laughs> they should pay for their own fucking shit. <laughs> Tell me how I fucked up. <laughs> Provide this big ass house, working all day. What, you want love too? <laughs> <laughs> Two out of three. Pick. What's your name, wife? <laughs> Rohini, if your kids came to you and said, Dad said no to therapy, what would you say? Thank you. Ta what's that? Thank you. Take him to therapy? Oh, I, try to get my, I, try to get my, I try to get my dad to go to therapy. I'll say, Dad, you should talk to somebody. He'll say, I'll talk when I want to talk. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> All right, Dad, cool. Well, parents are to blame for a lot of shit. You got to understand that. You know, like, I, I have, like, very difficult time experiencing joy. Like, I'm a very happy person. You know, I'm, I'm happy, point blank. But joy, like that, oh shit, that's crazy. Like, I, I haven't experienced that in a very long time. Because I grew up with an Indian mom. <laughs> who, anytime something amazing happened, she's like, don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell anybody or the evil eye is going to come and take that shit away. That's a very Asian so I thing. I can't like, be excited. About it. I can't be proud of anything. I can't be happy about any of this shit. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine being a kid and and like your mom comes you don't say shit. Evil Eye is gonna take that shit. Like yeah, you'd be like oh oh okay all right you know, I won't. I mean I I have like similar experiences mm -hmm. but in like different ways. I made like a, a short film I was very proud of. I was so excited to show my mom. Today her reaction would be totally different. Okay. But as a kid, during your impressionable sponge years, she watched it. She goes. Okay, but how are your grades? No. And, and she didn't even she didn't even look at me when she said it. I was at, looking at the back of her head as she watched the short no. film, and she didn't even look at me. Like no hug, no proud of you, no love you, nothing. And I'm like, damn. All right, mom. Like it was that bad. It, it, like no, but the short film wasn't bad. She, yeah, she, but she, she didn't feel bad she about. She thought you were spending all your time doing yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh. Like she wanted me to put my focus on the studies more than the art, and I'm like. Come on, come on. My dad was the one who was supportive of the creative stuff, mm. but um, he was also like, the less people know about you, the better off you are. Okay. And I'm like, what does that even mean? Yeah, dad? you're like, I kind of need people to know about me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, what he meant was, because people would try to use him for stuff mm, that he had. Yes. He, so he would. He was like, every time he shared like something that he owned, someone would try to borrow That's it. That's true. You know? Yep. So. Last summer, I came home uh, from a 13 show, sold out run. Mm -hmm. Uh, all over the country, and I was on a two-week break in August over the summer, and uh, I went to an Indian restaurant called the Maka in New York. It's one of the best Indian restaurants on the planet. I get invited by the chef. He tells me to come to the restaurant, and the chef comes over to the table, signs the shirt. He brings me a shirt. He signs it. He's like, Nimesh, good to see you. Always happy to have you. Thanks for coming in. Wow. I'm like a little drunk. <laughs> I put the shirt on. You know, go to the bathroom, put the shirt on, come in the bathroom, and now I'm feeling very good about myself. You know, like my ego's on Drake mode. Drake mode. I just did 13 sold out shows. My, all my cousins are here. I'm here with the chef. It's an Indian restaurant. I get recognized. People are like, yo, that's me. I'm like, yeah, that's me. And I'm walking back to my table, and some Indian dude weighs me over to his table. And I'm like, just another Nimesh Patel fan. Here we go. <laughs> I go to extend my hand. And he's like, sir, my table's a little wobbly. Can you put a little wedge on it? Oh, humbled real quick. Wow. <laughs> Yo, I've had, wow. <laughs> I did, I did, I oh. just put the wedge. <laughs> <laughs> so I had a similar experience to that. Something had happened where I was like recognized in the street and, and I took a photo with somebody. And then I went to Burger King with uh, my brother and um, someone like, waved at us yeah or waved at me anyway and I'm like oh okay cool and I, I walked over I realized like five seconds and they're like can you can you take a photo of us I was like oh oh sorry okay y'all yeah. want a photo of each other at the Burger King what the hell that is a really <laughs> weird spot <laughs> like why would you do that I felt so dumb it humbled me really fast I'm like not everybody knows who you are Jabby I'm like oh, okay cool <laughs> so I imagine you had a totally different upbringing then like if you yeah. if you wanted to go to therapy, your parents would be like, "Cool." Yeah, my, pa done. my parents were very chill. Um, anything I wanted to do, they're 
full support. They yeah. never said I couldn't do anything, really. So it, it was very fortunate in that way. Yeah. Yeah. My, yeah, they always were just very supportive of anything I wanted to do. So I think if I did say that, they'd be like, all right, you can go do that. That's fine. I don't think they'd say no. Very different growing up. Yeah. With <laughs> two white parents instead of yes, one. Yes, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, growing up with an Asian mom, I, I, I relate to a number of those experiences. I would love to know from you guys your stories in the comments below. I would love to hear all the stuff you guys have gone through. My favorite thing, though, was <laughs> when his mom came to him and said the evil eye thing. Because yes. he's very honest. He's like, I haven't had like that joy yeah. in a long time. And it's like, I, I feel like I can relate to some of that because like the other day, uh, I, I was in the car with one of my good friends, Kristen, and she's just, she put the music on and she's just like going into it and having a good time. And I'm like... I don't know how to access whatever that is right now without like being com like three sheets to the wind with alcohol. <laughs> like I need booze to access that energy, okay. you know, otherwise like I, there's too much layers of facade and whatever this imposter is that occupies reality for most of the time. Yeah. I, he doesn't allow me to be the real me in an okay. instance. Like, you know okay. what I'm saying? <laughs> I actually was, I was just working the Taylor Swift concert and okay. I actually got to experience that fun joy because okay. I was just rocking out to my heart's content. Mm. Cause otherwise, yeah, I don't know the last time before that, but I was like, no, I'm going to just be free. I'm just going to have so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I think I've also gone through too many like heartbreak situations um, and that'll just like condition you to like really eventually okay. like this hulking version of yourself and you're just like <laughs> I shot and just trying to like <laughs> just try to get through the day um, no but I, I, I appreciate what he's yeah. saying and I, I think I'm, I'm generally like mm -hmm. a happy person but like I just wish I could access that what I would call Kristen energy more mm -hmm. often you know yeah um, and so I relate to Nimesh's just kind of general disposition anyway um, you guys thanks so much for hanging out hopefully you enjoyed that I'm Jabby Koi this is Haley Seat. Peace out.